Hey everyone, Crimson Moon here with my final update on my G Fuel lead test. The results are in, so I'm excited to share them with you, as well as my conclusions and recommendations about G Fuel. Before I get to the results, a quick review of what I'm talking about. To get the full backstory on what this is all about, watch my previous videos linked in the description below. In short, two years ago, on February 5th, 2018, an article came out revealing that the Environmental Research Center, the ERC, tested G Fuel and found it to be in violation of California's Proposition 65 daily lead limits. Now, this should have been straightforward. There's lead in G Fuel, so don't drink it. But here's the problem. California's Proposition 65 is notoriously stringent, far more than the FDA, and has been applied in ridiculous ways, not just to consumables, but to things like shoes and backpacks. At the same time, G Fuel is not tested or approved by the FDA, since it's not required to, being classified as a dietary supplement. As an aside, G Fuel is now headed into Walmarts and 7-Elevens, but they don't test the products on their shelves either. I reached out to both the ERC and to Gamma Labs for details, but received no response. So. Despite the lawsuit, the question is still there. Is the lead content of G Fuel too high, or is it safely within acceptable limits? With this question unanswered two years ago when the G Fuel lead controversy broke, I completely stopped drinking G Fuel. It's just not worth the risk. About a year later, I heard an update about G Fuel that made me reconsider. Gamma Labs settled with the ERC and agreed to ongoing regular testing. If they settled and allowed G Fuel to remain on the market, then maybe it's actually not that big of a deal. I decided that I wanted to run a human experiment with my own body to help determine the lead levels in G Fuel. So one year ago, on February 8th, 2019, I had my blood tested for lead at LabCorp. I hadn't had a drop of G Fuel for a year, so this set a baseline measurement of the normal lead content in my blood, which was one microgram per deciliter. Anything under five micrograms per deciliter is considered very normal and healthy, as there are trace amounts of lead in pretty much any organic product. With the baseline set, I began my experiment, and I began drinking G Fuel again. For the past year, I've had an average of about four single scoop shaker servings of G Fuel per week. In the past month, I've had at least one serving of G Fuel per day, and on the day of my one-year follow-up blood test at LabCorp on January 24th, 2020, I had one serving in the morning and a second serving in the waiting room about 30 minutes before the test. The way lead works is that it accumulates in your body over time, so I wanted to make sure that the blood test would pick up any spike that may be caused by G Fuel consumption. I now have the results in my year-long human experiment. After one year of drinking G Fuel, my blood lead content was one microgram per deciliter. No change from my baseline level a year ago. This result seems to confirm my hypothesis that G Fuel is safe to drink and that the ERC and Proposition 65 caused unnecessary concern about G Fuel lead levels. Corroborating the results of my experiment, one of my channel subs, Herp, ran an experiment of his own. He ran a general soluble test of a single serving scoop of G Fuel down to 15 parts per billion and found the lead levels to be comparable to the levels in an average soil sample approved for growing organic fruits and vegetables. I can't verify for certain that this experiment actually happened, but I felt that it was a reliable report based on the specificity and professionalism and thought it was worth sharing here. So between these two experiments and the fact that the ERC settled with Gamma Labs, I now feel quite safe saying that the lead content in G Fuel is negligible and that G Fuel is safe to drink. G Fuel is safe to drink. Here's my one caveat though. G Fuel is loaded with caffeine and other active ingredients to give you energy and focus. Be careful not to drink too much and overtax your liver. As with most things, moderation is key. So, what are your thoughts? How will you be approaching G Fuel from here? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you all for the support and encouragement throughout this experiment, and thanks for watching. Cheers.